सर्जन डॉक्टर मुगल अनीस देर एंड टुडे माय टॉपिक ऑफ डिस्कशन इज प्रिंसिपल्स ऑफ द सेफ लेप्रोस्कोपिक कोलिसिस्टेक्टमी सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल ब्रीफ हिस्ट्री द ओपन कोलिसिस्टेक्टमी इट वाज फर्स्ट परफॉर्म्ड इन 1882 एंड फर्स्ट लेप्रोस्कोपिक कोलिसिस्टेक्टमी इट वाज परफॉर्म्ड ऑलमोस्ट इन 1985 सो Uh, this is the uh, brief anatomy which will help you understand the basic concepts later on so in this diagram i am showing the hepatocystic triangle uh, this area is of the cystic duct and this is the right hepatic duct left hepatic duct common hepatic duct and meanwhile again uh, you have got the right uh, left hepatic artery uh, right hepatic artery and this is the common hepatic artery and cystic artery uh, just here going into the uh, gall bladder and this is the area of liver and triangle is formed which is known as the hepatocystic triangle definitely in every case you prepare the patient you will do the cbc lfts rfts prothrombin time chest radiograph electrocardiograph antibiotic prophylaxis deep vein thrombosis prophylaxis and informed consent in this way the lfts they are more important this is the pre anesthesia work basically so uh, in this diagram i am going to show you uh, there are four ports uh, which will be placed which will be inserted uh, to perform the conventional uh, four port laparoscopic cholecystectomy first port exactly at this point this is for the laparoscope and the camera then this is the uh, 10 mm port and then you have got the dissecting forceps and the clip applicator again it's the uh, 10 mm port in the epigastric region then you have got uh, two more ports uh, one is at this part it's a 5 mm port and this is the grasping forceps for the hartman pouch retractions then you have got the fourth port this is also 5 mm and this is the grasping forceps for the gallbladder fundus uh, retraction then moving towards the next slide this is the brief overview of our uh, whole lecture and there will be three time outs one then you have got two then third time out i will discuss later on so no need to uh, take the detail uh, here so there are some predictors which will show you that cholecystectomy is going to be difficult so according to that uh, you will use the bailout strategies time out strategies and you might consult uh, with the other surgeon second opinion these are all uh, tenets of the safe cholecystectomy so i am going to discuss uh, later on so uh, basically you have to pick the there are predictors of the uh, difficult cholecystectomy if male patient is there if age is more than 65 years if there is increased interval uh, between the onset and presentation more than 72 to 96 hours in acute cholecystitis if there are previous multiple attacks of the biliary colic if there is history of the acute cholecystitis or upper abdominal surgery is there and prior attempt at the cholecystectomy these are all predictors which will show you that cholecystectomy is going to be difficult there are some physical parameters you can pass the slide and you can take the screenshot and you can memorize this and then there are imaging studies again you can pass and you can take the screenshot again intraoperative there are few things like small shrunken gallbladder not visualized on the initial exploration and liver is retracted with the fissure or the depression or a puckering near the fundus that's the liver pucker sign so these all things will show you that laparoscopy is laparoscopic cholecystectomy is going to be difficult so in this diagram i am showing the one anomaly which uh, you must uh, recognize at any case because here uh, this is the normal anatomy this is normal okay and here you can see the hepatocystic triangle very normal here uh, you are seeing there is monihan hump or the caterpillar hump that's the turn 
of the uh, common hepatic artery and here the right hepatic artery is making the turn into the hepatocystic triangle. The importance of recognizing this caterpillar hump or the monihan hump is that if you don't recognize it you will damage it and you will cause a lot of bleeding there and definitely you will be in trouble. So always recognize this thing. Then uh, we have got the SAGE's 6 strategies uh, for the safe coli uh, cystectomy, laparoscopic. First, you must achieve the critical view of safety. This is the entity which I will explain in very much detail. Then you must have the intraoperative timeout prior to clipping, cutting and transecting any uh, ductal structures. And variation in anatomy you must know. You should consider the variation in the anatomy. Surgeon should use the cholangiography or other instrument for demonstrating the biliary anatomy. And in case of difficult to expose the biliary anatomy, alternative surgical techniques uh, should be used. And these techniques I will discuss in the bailout strategies. And consultant with another opinion, it's also the tenet for the safe uh, laparoscopic cholecystectomy. So first thing, a critical view of safety, you must remember three points. First, that's the meticulous uh, dissection of the calorous triangle from all the fatty and the fibrous tissue. Number two, these things you should be on, have on the fingertips. So lower part of the gallbladder should be separated from the cystic plate, which allows the visualization of the posterior liver bed. And uh, third, dissection and identification of only two structures, that's the cystic artery and cystic uh, duct entering the gallbladder. One thing at this point, I must uh, tell you that the two structures entering into the gallbladder, they should be of the different caliber. They should be of the different diameter. If they are of the same diameter, then you will be in trouble. Definitely with a smaller caliber, it will be the cystic artery. And with a larger caliber, it will be cystic duct. So try to recognize this thing. Here, I am showing the hepatocystic triangle, critical view of safety. You can easily visualize this is the cystic duct, this is the cystic artery, and both can be visualized very easily. No, only two structures, one, two, they are entering into the gallbladder and lower part of the gallbladder you have dissected that's the lower two centimeter of the cystic plate to expose the posterior liver bed and you will definitely perform the meticulous uh, dissection here and now i have shown the original uh, diagram intraoperative here uh, the first tenant for the safe cholecystectomy uh, it's the safe zone of dissection and you will use be safe mnemonic uh, to be safe so uh, for B bile duct and base of the segment 4 of the liver then for S sulcus rovere or the rovere sulcus I will detail I will discuss in detail then A artery hepatic your yeah, hepatic artery then fissure umbilical then you will with E that's the enteric structure duodenum and the stomach and uh, later on I will uh, show you that we will use the B4U line sorry uh, not B4U line that's the R4U line which I have drawn here that's the imaginary line R rover sulcus 4 means uh, base of segment 4 of the liver and U mean umbilical feature any dissection above this imaginary line it will be safe any dissection below this line it will be unsafe so be conscious be gentle and try to dissect above this line you will be safe here again i am showing the critical view of safety proper retraction of the infundibulum inferior laterally and proper retraction of the gallbladder fundus towards the right shoulder it will expose the critical view of safety very beautifully so moving uh, towards the next slide 
I was telling you about the rover sulcus. It's a two to five centimeter long and present on the under surface of the liver, right lobe of the liver, easily visualized in 80% of the patients. In 20% patients, it's not visualized and it remain open partially or fully and it's the most uh, important landmark for the safe cholecystectomy your dissection should be above this uh, sulcus then there is a concept of uh, timeout uh, I am going to show you the rovier sulcus in this diagram physically uh, exactly this is the rovier sulcus okay this is the rovier sulcus okay so you will remain again in this diagram this is the rovier sulcus you will remain above this rovier sulcus to be safe then there is a concept of timeout again you will use be safe to be safe and its aim is reorientation and the reassessment sometimes our cameraman keeps the camera very close he zooms and you get uh, disoriented definitely you will see the very few things and other things you will ignore so for that purpose uh, there is a concept of time out so what to do you will wait again you will reassess and you will act and what will you see definitely be safe and when to see before beginning dissection in the hepatocystic triangle Whenever there is any doubt about the anatomy and after achieving the CVS before dividing the cystic duct and the cystic artery so at these three points you will stop you will wait and you will reassess and after that you will act that's the time out that's a beautiful concept so again moving towards the next slide and there are uh, stopping rules in this uh, section just you will identify the red flags and what those red flags are if more than two tubular structures they are entering the gallbladder you will stop the surgery you will think you will reassess and after that you will act otherwise you will not act unusually a large presumed cystic artery and this might be hepatic artery so always stop your surgery reassess achieve the critical way of safety and after that you will act and if large arterial pulsations present behind the presumed cystic duct this duct may be the common hepatic or the bile duct definitely you will save it and if medium or the large uh, clips they fail uh, to occlude the ductal human and this duct may be hepatic or the bile duct so normally if you are using the medium or the larger clips they can occlude easily the cystic duct and the artery easily if it is unable to occlude definitely the other structures might be there there is a suspicion of other structures okay then uh, we have the concept of the bailout the concept of bailout is very beautiful it's for the safety of the patient from the biliary and the vascular injury and its main aim is to perform the alternative procedure bailout technique that allow the surgeon to complete the procedure in a safe manner and definitely there are uh, five bailout techniques first thing is you will abort the process you will stop the process you will do nothing and next option in the bailout strategy you have the option to convert to an open procedure then you have also the option of tube cholecystotomy and using the 14 fr foley's catheter it will work for you and number four you can carry out a subtotal cholecystotomy cholecystectomy sorry you can perform open or you can perform laparoscopically leaving behind a part of the gallbladder is safer than a difficult dissection in the hepatocystic triangle with a potential for the bile duct injury in an attempt uh, to remove the entire gallbladder so you can uh, do the partial cholecystectomy and number five if you are 
expert and you can use the fundus first approach and you can complete the procedure in a safe way but always try to end your procedure in a safe way and choice of bailout it depends upon the clinical situation and the expertise of the surgeon and converge, conversion to the open cholecystectomy it should be by choice at an early stage in a difficult cholecystectomy definitely I have discussed you have to identify the red flags and you will stop okay here uh, Billy end of 28th edition he is saying the very beautiful quotation that the operating surgeon should not uh, hesitate uh, to seek the second opinion whenever needed and this should be considered a sign of good clinical practice rather than a surgical ineptitude so don't uh, feel shame uh, to consult with your uh, colleague otherwise you will make blunder it will not be safe for the patient so try to remain there then at the uh, last the tenets for the safe laparoscopic cholecystectomy judicious use of the energy devices with a monopolar energy device mostly we use the L hook which is at the end like this okay so it's important to keep the low settings up almost 30 watt to avoid arching of the current to the bile duct and you will divide a smaller amount of tissue at a time after the gentle pull to avoid injury to the deeper structures and at the last but not least you will avoid the blind use of the cartridge in brisk bleeding lateral thermal spread occurs less uh, with the ultrasonic energy sources but it may be cumbersome uh, nowadays we are using the Liga Shore, we are using the harmonic we are using the other uh, energy devices advanced devices so always uh, try to be very much conscious and don't use blind so at the end uh, thank you so much if you have learned something from our video then do subscribe our channel surgeon dr ahmed for more educational videos so thank you so much